What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Luxury Cars Manila. I'm King Panda, and as promised, we have one of the most, I'd say one of the most exhilarating cars I've ever had the pleasure to review. And this is the McLaren 600LT. Now, why do they call it a 600LT? First of all, they call it the LT because it stands for long tail. McLaren is synonymous for its race cars, having that long sweeping tail. So they call it the long tail. And the 600 LT is no different. The 600 LT is actually a 570 S, which is the entry level model for the McLaren, but made better. This is basically a street legal track car. Now, we had some questions before that, can you put a roll cage in the car? Can you do this? Can you do that? The car is literally perfect, the way it's built. It's a couple of inches longer than the 570S. It's a couple of inches longer in the back. So it has a lot wider stance compared to the 570S. So it gives you a lot more rigidity and a lot more stability when going into the corners. But at the same time, it gives you the privilege to drive it around as a daily driver. If kaya na katawan nyo, because it's a lot stiffer. Now, this car is about 96 kilos lighter than its predecessor. 578. Let me show you around the car. Let's start with the aerodynamics. It, it actually gives me a lot of pleasure to talk about the aerodynamics and I've actually seen this car in a wind tunnel test. As air sweeps through the front air dam, cools the brakes, all the residual energy all the residual wind that comes from here gets channeled through this beautiful sweeping tunnel of a door. It's actually part of the door. And the whole frame and the whole body is made of carbon fiber. It tunnels through the door and it cools off the high temperature radiator. All the air that gets swept in, channels through the secondary tunnel, goes through the air dams and cools off the rear brakes. What an amazing way to utilize every single ounce of wind that you can foster, right? This car is fully equipped. I can't memorize every single option, but the owner spared no expense, so basically he took the checklist and checked everything that is available for a 600 LT. Down to the tire. 20 inch fronts, 21 inch rears, all factory, all lightweight. Besides the Senna, this is the first McLaren that has exhausts that's fitted on top. So if you notice the rear spoiler of the car, it has three different sections. Well, two different sections. The middle section is heat treated so that any residual heat from the vehicle doesn't melt the spoiler. So again, if you look at the rear of the car, it's extremely aerodynamic. All the wind that get channel, gets channeled through the front gets passed out to the rear, okay? And it even has a backup camera. Look at how cool that is. It's on the rear diffuser, guys. <laughs> unlike, unlike most supercars that you've seen, i.e. the Ferrari, McLaren is more functional then they are aesthetic. So, if you notice the rear engine cover, 
It doesn't literally display the engine, but it gives you a sneak peek of what powers this amazing work of art, right? Let's go inside the car. Two hundred sixty-five pound, five foot eleven Chinese guy, Chinese Filipino guy, can fit in a McLaren. Okay. All right. Now, inside the vehicle, as you can notice, this vehicle was built to perform. One of the biggest considerations when they built the six hundred LT was weight. So, you will see more carbon fiber in this vehicle than other vehicles that you've seen. The floor mats have no insulation on the bottom. It's just basically carbon fiber and floor mats. With all the weight that was taken off from the vehicle, it saved them about 96 kilos. That's about 200 something pounds. And if you're thinking about inertia and all the forces that come into play with physics, 200 pounds matters a lot in a car like this. Okay, no expense was spared. Instead of using leather, they used Alcantara throughout the vehicle. If you notice, the racing seats are fashioned with Alcantara and a little bit of leather, just for wear and tear. But just by using Alcantara alone in the car, you save at least four to five kilos. Okay, let's start this up. So if you notice, like most McLarens, it has the same setup. Engine start stop button, drive, neutral, reverse, hazard, door locks. Uh, this is your gear selector. This is your driving mode selector. Okay. So let's start the puppy. Listen to that sound. Symphony to anyone's ear, isn't it? Come here. Let me show you guys something. Even the icon for the air conditioning has a helmet. Since it's a race car. So now the radiator and the fan kicked in because we have the air conditioning on. Okay. That revving sound. You know, the big difference with this car compared to a 570S is the car is more aggressive. This, the car means business. It doesn't fuck around. This is who it is. And this is the way that it wants to show you who he is. And it doesn't like being driven slow. So just listen to that, that exhaust. And, and you know the beautiful part about this is on a good day, you can see fire going out of your rear, from your rear view mirror because the exhaust is right there. My God, look at that. So, okay, let's talk about the drive modes. So we press active. Right now it's in regular mode. Right? It's in sport mode. That's track mode. Instead of giving you vehicle speed, it gives you the engine speed. It's a nine speed transmit. It, it gives you the rev limiter and it tells you when to shift. That's the track mode. Now, when we go back to sport mode, it goes back to regular handling. Sport, normal powertrain. Okay, when you go normal, you can go sport, and you can go track. 
It's that simple. That's how you choose on how the car will perform. It's really cool. So now we turn it back. Now the launch control, we're not gonna do because this is not our car. You basically, you can rev the vehicle. And once you're in launch control, and as soon as you flick the shifter, the paddle shifter, the car just goes, okay? It has all the creature comforts of a car. It has Bowers and Wilkins audio system, which is an option for, a lot, for all the McLarens. It has an audiophile sound system, which you're probably never gonna use because just listening to that engine. Oh my God, listen to that. That is just music to anyone's ear. So, let's turn it off. So, I mean, it's pretty roomy inside. It's, it's not a bad car to drive if you have that intestinal fortitude to drive it every day. It is possible to use it as a daily driver. It's just not as comfortable as a 570 or even a 720 because all the insulation is taken off of the car. But this car's character really comes out on the track. This car has already been ceramic pro. It's been babied since day one. So this car is available exclusively through Luxury Cars Manila. Again, this is the most loaded 600 LT that came into the country. And you can get it for a really, really, really reasonable price. So give me a call at 0917-463-0077 or 0998-933-3883. I mean, look at how gorgeous this car is. Like I said, Every single option that you see on this car is factory spec. Nothing was ever added aftermarket. So you are getting a work of art. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching our videos. Please don't forget to subscribe. And at the same time, leave us a comment. Let us know how we did and what you want to see in the future. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much for watching our videos.